Hi, this is Shadi and today I'm gonna be talking about the descendants of Jigoro Kano. Now, we know that Jigoro Kano was born in 1860 and founded the Kodokan in 1882 at the age of 22 years old and passed away in 1938 after establishing a very solid legacy in the martial arts world. Now, let's talk a little bit about his descendants because this is not something that's been uh, talked about very much in the judo world so very recently i'm sure you heard of this on march 8th uh, 2020 of this year uh, his grandson yukimitsu kano passed away of pneumonia at the age of 87 in a hospital in tokyo uh, unfortunately um, in a 2017 interview he had the chance to talk with the igf and do an interview which i will link uh, down below as a video and he talked that about his grandfather and he told him that he needs to find a role model to emulate and become like him and that's how he will be a good man and Jigoro Kano said to him that I quote you should not try to be like somebody else you are who you are and they say that this is a perfect illustration of how judo can help you become a better person and a better citizen because he was teaching because Kano was teaching uh, not just techniques, but he was also teaching a practice in society and this is something I really admire in judo that You know it it uh, how it transcends uh, beyond the mats and this is something that can help I believe all of us regardless of their uh, troubles in uh, in Society whether it is finding yourself whether dealing with anxiety uh, physical problems like bullying etc and also the mental stuff um, the mats what you learn on them they can really translate outside the mats now let's talk a little bit about uh, Yukimitsu uh, he was born I believe uh, in 1932 uh, and he is the son of Risei uh, Kano the son of Jigoro Kano and Yukimitsu served uh, as the fourth president of the Kodokan and the president of the old judo uh, all Japan Judo Federation and here's the thing that I, I found very interesting while looking up a bit about Yukimitsu is that uh, he favored or he was an advocate of Kodokan Judo over the IJF or the International Judo Federation which means that uh, these two bodies are not necessarily eye to eye all the time and they do differ in some aspects which uh, will be uh, a topic for another video however Yukimitsu favored Kodokan Judo over the IJF. I don't know. I don't know if it's rules or philosophy or whatever it may be, but it's something that I'm gonna have to uh, look into. And uh, he was also the president of the Judo Union of Asia. And Risei Kano, who was born in 1900 uh, and passed away in 1986 was also he had two brothers so Jigoro Kano had actually three sons but the ones that were active was uh, Risei Kano he was uh, the second president of the IJF and from 1952 till 1965 and he managed the Kodokan from 1946 till 1980 a few years before his death so another thing that I want to um, question is that why did the Kano family not compete? It, it seems a bit strange or at least none that I have heard of or uh, made a name for themselves. I mean, if I happen to be the descendant of someone like Kano or maybe a Gracie, I would be a co competitor and also making, uh, putting the family name uh, very high and also still making sure that the family name still lives on in the same practice maybe. Uh, but I mean, all of them, Risei, uh, Yukimitsu, were judokas. So I, I'm i sure that they had some competitions of some form. But even Jigoro Kano himself, if you remember from my 1886 video uh, in the police academy where they had the competition to see whether it is the Totsukaha who will take uh, the training or was the Kodokan judokas. And Jigoro Kano sent 15 of his students. He did not send himself, although... He was only 26 years old. 26 years old, you have uh, people like uh, Soichi Hashimoto and Ono who are 28 years old, I believe, and they are still in their prime and performing 
with power and uh, good techniques. I don't know why Jigoro Kano did not go to compete. Uh, I really don't know till this day why the name Kano is not in the competition, uh, still living and still competing. I mean, the man is 87 years old, living in 2020. His grandfather was born 160 years ago. That's amazing. Three generations in 160 years. It's insane. I mean, the name should have lived in another way of some form, I believe. I don't know why, but this is something that really uh, intrigued me. Is that why is the name Kano not in competitions? Even the founder himself uh, did not, uh, I don't know, find the will to compete, which is truly uh, interesting. He has all these katas filmed, etc. But when it comes to competing, he was never there. He had all these demonstrations also for the West, to the police, to the army, uh, but no competitions, uh, neither his descendants, which is I found very strange, or at least not that I have heard of. If any of you has any type of information or there's a saying or a rumor about it, uh, let me know down below. I hope you find this short video informative. Uh, leave a like if you did. This was Shadi and thank you for listening.